Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's blog. Great, great afternoon or late evening to you, wherever you are on the African continent. Yes, or in Europe. It is a late evening to you guys all out there here. It's in the night. So I believe you are getting closer to your evening as well or in the afternoon. Depends on where you are. Ladies and gentlemen, you are in America, you are in Canada, or you are right here in Southeast Asia with me. Ladies and gentlemen, you are highly, highly welcome to this very special, special edition. We are loaded. There's so much to talk about. Yeah, Chelsea 1, Real Madrid 2. The last game of the preseason tour in the US of A. Dear friends, well, I don't know if you are you were also very much disappointed like myself in this preseason tour. I am. I am very much disappointed. Five games played, only one game we won. Just one. We won only one game throughout. Dear friends, before I go to the statistics, quickly. You see, one of the issues why Chelsea kept conceding early and quick goals, one of the issues or one of the reasons why Chelsea keep conceding early and quick goals is because of our high line play, the style of our play. High line, the defenders up the field. Our defensive problems after we suffered consecutive preseason friendly defeats is what I want to talk about. Our defensive issues after we suffered consecutive preseason friendly friendly defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, why are we considering so many goals? Why is Chelsea considering early goals? Then we will now have to start to fight to come back. One of the issues that the coach himself and many other people identify is the high line. The high line that we are playing without pressure. We play high line and with, with no pressure. Dear friends, that is the basic mistake that this team is making right now. <clears throat> when you play high line, you have to put your opponent under pressure. You have to put the ball under pressure. But Chelsea, we are so relaxed. The ball is not under pressure. Our opponent are not under pressure. And it makes our defense so weak. Our defense is always exposed. And that is why a player like Badashelli got the, find themselves wanting a simple ball that he would have to dive to clear off his own goal line. He couldn't do it. Lacadesically, stop what the ball entered the net. The worst part and the most annoying part to me is where our own coach, yes, where our own coach will come in and, and blame the previous regime. Oh, it was from the previous year, last season. It was the last season. What they were doing last season is what's affecting them. Oh, it was the last season style of play. Oh, it was Pochettino. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we need to send a strong, firm message to Mareska at this point in time. This season will not start and we'll be hearing these excuses. We are tired and fed up of flimsy excuses. You've had the opportunity to be with this play for six good weeks. And you were to train them. So what were you doing all this was even Copenhagen before flying to the US? Your defensive line are non-existence and you are blaming Pochettino for it? Oh, come on. If there's no one to tell you, some of us, we are ready and willing to speak out. Listen, you see, before I go to individual names here right now, our U.S. tour comes to an end. Did you enjoy it? As a Blue fan, as a Chelsea fan, did you enjoy it? Chelsea 
versus Wrexham 2 2 draw. Chelsea Celtic 1 4. We lost against Celtic 1 4. One goes to four. Chelsea against Club America. That was the only game we won 3 0. And we thought we could build on that. 3 0 against Club America. All of us, we thought, oh, Chelsea is about to pick up from there and build on that. 3 0. Then we now met Man City. That nearly humiliated us in the first half. We came back second half and we got two goals. So it ended 2 4. It ended 2 4 against Chelsea. Last night, we met Real Madrid only for two goals to come in. And the way and manner in which the goals came in is what annoys me most. Easy, cheap goal that our defenders could have easily, easily defended. Levi Cowell, Badashelli. In fact, the main culprit was Badashelli. Very easy ball. Badashelli could have just rushed in there. As soon as you see the goalkeeper coming out, your duty now is to get into the goalpost to, the, to protect the keeper. You try to stop, you pause, you watch, and the ball now slide dead into your goal, into your net. I mean, let me just say this straight away. But the Shelley does not deserve to be in Chelsea lineup. No, not now. No. We saw similar situations. Thiago Silva, the old, as old as he is, or you slide in and clear. How many times did, did Thiago Silva clear balls from our goal line? Same position. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we, got, we scored nine goals in five games. Nine goals in five games. We conceded 12. I made mention of one we were, where we considered uh, 10. And somewhere in the comment section said, oh, it doesn't matter. Now we considered 12 and we scored nine. We won one, drew one. We lost three games. Three in preseason. You see, if we keep saying, oh, it's just a preseason, I want you to understand something here, ladies and gentlemen. This coach is an untested coach. This is not a coach full of experience that we can say, oh, okay, let's, it's just a preseason. Let's get into the, you know, the season itself. No. No. He's still going to be trying things while the, the, league, the season will start. He will still be trying his you know, errors. We are trying to correct his errors while the season will start. Then before you realize it, we are already at the bottom of the league table. Before you realize it, we are battling with rele relegation. He is not an experienced coach that we can say, okay, right now, the solution is what he's going to profess before the season will start. If he has the solution, the answers, he will come back and tell us that the high line is what they inherited from the pre last season, 2023, 2024 season. You wouldn't say that. He wouldn't say that to us. You inherited a high line and you could not correct it. You were, we, everybody saying, yo, Mareska football, Mareska style of football means that the Mareska style of football that we are talking about, the high line that you were playing, your place were playing, is not part of your football, but they were playing it. And for six weeks, you couldn't correct it. Come on. Our 2024 preseason tour of the United States comes to an end. Back to England for one final preseason friendly before the 2024-2025 season gets underway. Back to England for the last game against Inter Milan at Stamford Bridge, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, at Stamford Bridge. What next for us? We don't have three games, four games more to play. No. Only one against Inter Milan. Then the season starts. I'm afraid. I'm scared. I'm not comfortable. I'm not happy. I, I, am, I am just not comfortable, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, I will leave you here. It is your evening show. I should be back with more exclusives. But quickly, before I let you go, I want you to take a critical look at this on your screen. Nicolas Jackson against Julian Alvarez. We understand Atletico Madrid are almost true. 
with the deal with Man City to sign Julian Alvarez for 70 million euros plus 20 million in add-ons. In fact, 75 million euros plus 20 million in add-ons, making it 95 million euros for Julian Alvarez. Many of us were vouching for Julian Alvarez to come to Chelsea. Yes, me, I saw him as a player that can compete well with, Chelsea, with Nicholas Jackson. That can bring competition. He's not going to be above him, but rather both will compete for the first position. They'll compete for a starting role. Julian Alvarez to Atletico Madrid has 95 million euros, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the, book, the statistics there. 2023-2024 season, Julian Alvarez ag against Nicolas Jackson. Jackson played 35 games or 35 appearances last season. 2023-2024, he scored 14 goals. I said it before in my previous episode. Jackson scored 14 goals in 35 appearances. Julian Alvarez scored... Oh, Scored 11 goals in 36 appearances. Come back and tell me that Jackson has not done well last season. His first season in the Premier League. Come back again and tell me Jackson has not done well. This is a player we want him to... Chelsea fans are vouching for him that Chelsea should buy him. Including myself. Including myself. But I will see him like someone that can compete with... with Jackson to bring the best out of him or, or out of himself or out of Jackson. But just compare the two, 95 million euros. Ladies and gentlemen, if any striker should be coming to Chelsea right now, it should be Victor Osimhen. That Jackson can rather look up to. Yes. Well, quickly, before I let you go, some big shout out to you. Yeah. All right, big shout out. Big shout out to you guys all out there, ladies and gentlemen, and on the continent of Africa, in Europe, in America, in Canada, or here in, Euro in Asia. Listen, most of you guys that are sending messages from Europe, I really appreciate. Because you guys, I know you are very busy, you don't have the time. But for you to take out your time to send me messages, even on the TikTok, hey, I have not, it looks like today, I've not made mention of the TikTok on this channel. Listen, our TikTok is running. Salon's blog. Yes, Salon's blog. Go to TikTok and search for us and follow us on TikTok. Salon's blog. It's up and doing. Salon's blog on TikTok. But quickly, this one says, Our owners need to sign Osimhen for us to be our target man up front to avoid last season bitter lessons for not being clinical in front of goal. Omorodion can be a backup for Osimhen, but... Not our leading striker. But Achille is lazy and too slow to be our defender. Thiago Silva could have cleared the line, so they should either sell him or loan him out and sign Nottingham Forest Brazilian defender Murillo, who is more aggressive and more hungrier than what Badashile is offering. Well, not even Murillo. We don't let don't we let us not go far. Bring Trevor Chaloba reinst re reinstate but, uh, Trevor Chaloba back into the squad. Bring back Trevor Chaloba. Let Baricelli go. We always saw that later part of last season. But for the sake of pure profit, you want to sell Trevor Chaloba. That is it. Dear friend, you have not given your name. All I saw there is uh, on your email, Happy Baby Turtles. Please, Send your name, your original name, and where you are commenting from, so I can give you a big shout out. You've given us a very nice statement here, very nice information. Please give us your name so I can give you a better shout out next time. Anyway, wherever you are, big shout out to you. Thank you for your comment out there. This was a good afternoon, bro. I'm Raj from South Sudan. Whoa, our defense isn't good. I wish our board to sell by the Shelly and keep Chaloba. Correct. In attack, let them load Modri and sell out Sterling. In forward, let them bring us Vitor Osimhen, not player like Samu. Blood is blue. <laughs> you summarize it. 
you summarize it. Sterling should be sold out, Modric should be loan, Vitor Osimhen should come in. Not Samu. Blast blue, blast blue. Big shout out to you out there, rush from South Sudan. I can see your face. You are one of my oldest members, but first time I'm seeing your name right here. Big shout out to you, Raj from South Sudan. Wow, South Sudan. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Share the video, like the video, and let me hear from you, you know, in the comment section. This one says, Mareska should stop putting Badashelli in first. In first. First call. And get Chaloba back for us. And if all Chelsea should sell Badashelli, please. I don't like the guy. Called Brother Shelley playing for Chelsea football team. I'm Samson Udirike from Anambra State, Nigeria, living in Kenya. Thank you, Mr. Selon Block. Thank you too for your message. Great to have you here, my dear friend. Samson Udirike from Anambra State, but living in Kenya. Big shout out to you out there, Mr. Samson. Very big shout out to you out there, Samson. All right. This is from Abba Francis Abba says, Selon. I have said this stat without numbers. That Balashili is worse in defense than any other defenders in the Premier League last season. Still, they count on him than Chaloba, who was one of the reasons why Chelsea makes make top four. But coach or the owners want him out just for profit. It is bad. Tears on my face. Thank you. Brother, wipe your tears, okay? Please wipe your tears. <laughs> wipe your tears, okay? Yes. The owners, they're only after their pocket. So please, the, <laughs> I know it's not easy, but wipe your tears. Big shout out to you out there, my brother, Abba Francis Abba. Yeah. I'm with you. We are we are all in this together. So please wipe your tears, okay? All right. This was a good day, sir. My name is Itoye Chukwebeze Derek from Delta State, Nigeria. I said it some days ago that our defenders are not good. So we need a quality defender and also a quality striker like Vito Simen because we miss a lot of chances. Thank you. Well, my brother Chukwebe, Chukubeze Derek in Delta State, Nigeria. Big shout out to you out there. Your message is quite clear. All right. This one says, a well performance from Nkuku last night. He's good on the ball. We pray and be free for him. Yes. Nkuku was good on the ball, actually. He was good on the ball. I have not spoken about individual players yet. I might come to that in my next episode. Watch out for that. Because of time, that is, I'm cutting it short. This one says, But Shele is a big problem to Chelsea. He needs to be sold or go on loan. Coming from Amanda McMillan Jackson. Amanda McMillan Jackson. Big shout out to you out there. Amanda McMillan Jackson. Big, big shout out to you out there. He says, But Shele is just a waste. Chelsea to stop playing him. He's not a defender at all. From the same Amanda McMillan Jackson. All right. This one says, Good morning, sir. My brother, this is Mayor from Lagos, Nigeria. Please and please don't talk about Madweke again. But the silly Moedric Madweke is not good and not ready to improve. I'm not really happy at Chelsea. <laughs> well, I, your message is very clear. Big shout out to you out there, my brother. Big shout out to you out there. He said your name is uh, Mayo from Lagos State, Nigeria. Big shout out to you out there. All right. The last three I have here. He says from one from Sadiq Adeleke Sadiq. Sadiq Adeleke. He said Jackson has already adapted to the wing even in his country. Go and watch him again. Very good observation. So it means that if we get Vito Simen. Nicola Jackson can play that left wing side. He has he already adapted to that position. Very great one out there. Big shout out to you, Sadiq Adelige Sadiq. He's gonna say, My name is Uche Prince from Benue State in based in Abuja, Nigeria. My boss, there is nothing Chelsea do than to get Osimen, professional striker. Let Chelsea get professional. We we say it and say it till we lose everything about striker. It's like the what use usual for Chelsea not to get a professional striker. Every time we crying for striker, Abba, 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 my brother from Benue State, Uche Prince from Benue State. Big shout out to you out there. The last but not the least says we need a top-notch striker 
We need a top-notch striker to put the ball at the back of the net. Nkuku should just concentrate on being attacking midfielder. We should know that experiment period is over now. Thank you. Jibola Bamzi from Nigeria. Whoa, this name is huge. Jibola Bamzi. Bam, Bamis. Jibola Bamis from Nigeria. Big shout out to you out there. Jibola Bamis from Nigeria. Well, guys, I'll see you all when you see me in the next one. That will come shortly. Yes, it will come shortly. Yes, in the next hours to come. See you when you see me, dear friends. Shalom and peace.